I built a villager breeder inside a giant iron golem. But before we start building, I need food. Uh, <laughs> oh, the middle of a sneeze. <laughs> All right, we got our food. Uh -huh. You guys need sunblock. On the last episode, I finally went over to the end and got the floating ender dragon egg. And my good friend Nestor also came by and built a nice little shrine. And you guys may be asking, why don't I get an elytra? Well, I would, but I got bigger problems here. Just take a look at everything in my inventory right now. That is damaged. That is damaged. That is damaged. And my heart's damaged. And I read all of your comments to get mending. So that's what I'm going to do today. And yes, I, I do read your comments, surprisingly. So first things first, I need to find a village somewhere. I haven't seen any villages nearby my home, so this might take a little bit. But let's start exploring. Oh, okay. Good thing he lived. I didn't think it would be that big of a drop. Oh my God. Well, that guy's going to have a brand new life. Look at him being swept away into the cave. We're never going to see you again. You're going to be the start of the underground cow species. Good luck, my friend. Ooh, look what I ran into, guys. A ray tower. That means a village is nearby, I think. I honestly haven't even completed a raid ever in my life, so uh, please don't make fun of me, guys. Wow. They have an entrance into a dripstone cave. Holy cow. Minecraft gen. Oh, nice to meet you, buddy. Okay, um, please don't hurt me. I just want to know where the nearest village is. If you could direct me there, that would be amazing. Let's see. I don't think he had the directions. What's in here? Uh, nothing too good. I mean, there's potatoes and carrots. Oh, you want to play this? game, huh? I have better aim than you, boy. Mm. Maybe the village is on top of this hill. All right, never mind. It's not. Whoa, there's another ray tower over there. I've never seen one in the ice biome. That's pretty sick. I think I found Mount Everest, guys. That is a really tall mountain. And there's a dripstone cave in there. All right, we're definitely gonna have to check that out. After I steal whatever's inside this chest, and there's nothing. To the mountain. I can already see the most beautiful valley. Oh, there's a village in here. I love these valleys inside the mountains. They're so nice. But more importantly, there's the village. Let's try to find some villagers. Is there only two houses here there's no oh there we go oh my god they're all the way down this hill that's crazy and it seems like all the villagers froze to death or something because i don't see any villagers anywhere oh no what happened to the villagers no only village i find and they're frozen to Oh, there's another one over there. All right, I'm gonna head over there after I, uh, you know, politely borrow some wheat because I'm a hungry guy, if you guys couldn't tell. I eat a lot. Oh, there you guys are. Nice to see you. What are you doing on top of the roof? Looks like they're having a little gathering here. I'll let you guys be. I'm gonna head over to that village because it'll be a little easier to transport the villagers all the way back home. Oh, boy. At least there's water right here. I mean, it might be easier to like, go all the way around. Maybe it connects over to where my house is. I'm really praying for that. What the heck is happening here? Minecraft is so weird. Like, these generations are so whack now, but let's go down this ocean and see if it connects. I have a feeling it does. And after spending about 15 minutes boating the ocean, I finally found our home. Okay, that's really good news. I ran into the wall of leaves, so it does connect. But now let's go back and transport the villagers from the village all the way across the ocean into our house. Okay, I found another village even closer by to my house, but it's a longer journey through the ocean. Maybe I can make like a water stream that goes all the way down and have like a water slide into the ocean. That'd be kind of fun. But let's steal some more food. I mean, I mean, steal. What? Uh, uh, borrow, right? Yeah, yeah, guys, we're borrowing food. <clears throat> oh, it's already making a waterfall for us. What are you looking at, kid? Nothing to see here. Oh, oh, hello. I think it's time to run. All right, but now let's make a waterfall or a water slide that goes all the way down into the ocean. It'll make my job a lot easier. And it would be pretty cool to go down a giant water slide down a mountain on a boat. Isn't that everybody's dream? All right, hopefully that works. <laughs> All you gotta do is hop into the boat, buddy. Get into the stupid boat. Okay, nice. All right, let me just take you on a quick adventure. If I could get over this stupid lip. Bruh. Bruh, this is literally like a centimeter. How can this boat get across it? Oh my God. Okay. Oh my... There, Minecraft. Are you happy? Jeez. All right. All aboard the world water slide. Let's go. Oh my God. We go, we move fast. Okay. We need to get right down there. Oh, wee. All right, we made it. That was actually sick. It actually worked. And right through here. And we did it. Wow. <laughs> that worked out a lot better than I thought. That was kind of fun. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, it didn't look like he had fun. His head is like snapped 90 degrees. Hey, don't worry. I'll bring you to hospital. Back home we go. Where'd he go? Where'd the villager just go? What just happened? He just disappeared. Okay, never mind. I relogged. He's back. <laughs> that kind of scared me. This guy really doesn't want to get into the boat. Come on, man. Come on. You have no choice. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this guy really tried hard. But the cookie army prevails. And let's grab one more to be safe. And one last ride down the world water slide. Wee. Wing, wing, wing. And here comes the final guy. Three villagers should be good, right? All right, let's start building a little villager breeding area. Are you subscribed? Only 33% of you guys are. And if you click the button right now, we could hit 2 million subscribers. Or not. I can't really tell you guys what to do. All right, there we go. I got a little villager breeding center. And I just need these two guys to get up there. All right, come on. Get up there, you stupid animals. Come on, you can do it. All we gotta do now is sit and wait. While I do that, let's go for a quick snack break. Grab some water, hydrate yourself, and I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. There's a baby. Oh, no. And a zombie. Please leave. All right, but we got a little baby villager. We got two. We got two baby villagers. Oh, wait a second. Three villagers and two. Two babies. Hmm. <laughs> I have some questions. Uh, let's not worry about it. All right. It's working though. That's good. That's good. All right. But let's let them continue their business. Because I'm going to need a lot of villagers to try to get a mending book. And while we wait, let's add somebody to the wall of leaves. Congratulations to Lack. And I'm lacking because I'm too lazy to pick another winner. <laughs> On the next episode, I'll be picking two winners from Twitter. So go follow my Twitter in the link below. All right. All the villagers are fully grown. That took a while. Let's craft ourselves some lecterns. And let's pray for mending. Come on, first try. Come on, guys. Please. I give you guys a bed. I give you guys food. Come on. Riptide. Nothing. And nothing. You guys are poo. You guys, you guys are the worst. All right. Let's go. And they're going to bed. All right. They're already sick of me. <laughs> There is fire aspect. That'll be really nice to add to my sword. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to need to trade with these villagers to get some emeralds. Luckily, there's no shortage of bamboo anywhere. Let me just uh, steal all of this. I'm sorry, jungle. Uh, this is so satisfying. Look at this. That puts a smile on my face. All right, let's get some emmys here. A whole inventory of bamboo only got me that many emeralds. That is very sad. I thought I would get a lot more than 20. Okay, well, um, let's save the fire aspect for now <laughs> and aim for mending. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. And after what it felt like 20 minutes, I finally managed to get myself mending. Trust me, it was a painful process. I got mending. 20 emeralds. Okay, that oh, that's perfect, actually. I want to trade with them at least once to lock in the mending. I think I'll just get one mending. Yes. Yes, we got mending, boys. Hey, it's this guy. I'll be back. Now, should I turn him into a zombie villager so I can get really cheap trades or... Nah, that, that's way too much work. Okay, let's just keep farming the bamboo, keep getting emeralds, and try to get eight books of mending. I changed my mind. Get in the hole. Get in, get in. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn him into a zombie villager. It's gonna be more fun and more entertaining, and it'll be easier for me, I, I hope. Now, we just need to get a zombie in here. Let's push this guy into the ocean so he doesn't interfere. I'm sorry, man. Hopefully, you can swim. And just with a snap of my fingers, it will be night. And let's find ourselves a zombie. Hopefully, this iron golem doesn't uh, bother me. I might need to kill him, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry, iron golem. Zombie, where are you? Oh, there's one over there. Let's take out these guys. Ugh. All right, come here, buddy. All right, jump into the hole. Get in there. Very nice. And now just infect my boy. I'm sorry, man, but you're going to have to sacrifice for me. Run. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Let's run away and let the magic happen. I should probably be saying that for the next part of the healing process, but I guess this is magic as well. And yes, we got him. Okay. He's a zombie villager now. Let's keep him trapped in there. Let's actually kill this guy here because we don't need you anymore. Oh, um, please excuse me. I need to get behind you, my friend. Ugh. All right. Hang tight. Oh, oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Is this real? Oh, is this real? I have never seen so many zombies before naturally spawn like this. What in the world? Hey, I just need a spider eye. Hello, buddy. Oh, there's two spiders here. I just need one of your eyes. Okay, I got one. Let's make a run for it here. All right, let's go to bed. Let's make a brewing stand. Oh, I need some sugar. I need a brown mushroom. Oh, there we go. A brown mushroom. And I need some glass. I don't think I've ever made glass in this entire series yet and it's been like five to six episodes that's pretty crazy but let's grab some sand here smelt it up bam bam, bam bomb oh i need blade rods adventure time oh i have a lot 
Yay. Splash version of weakness. I need an apple. Come on, man. I don't even own an apple. First try apple. First try apple. First try. 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 I've been saying first try so many times. It doesn't even sound like I'm speaking English anymore. First try. First try. You know what? It might be easier to just cut the tree and like hopefully apple will drop. Right, is the apple ever gonna fall, man? Like, I'm a, yeah. apples even exist anymore? The doctor was lying the entire time. Ugh. Holy, I'm convinced apples don't even exist anymore. Hello? Darkness, my old friend? Where, where are you? Doctor said an apple a day will keep the doctor away. Man, I gotta go to the doctor like five months in a row for how many apples I haven't gotten. This is outrageous. I just need one apple, brother. Just one. I wasted my only apple on reviving Nestor. I don't think it was worth it, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Honestly, I might even have a golden apple in my chest. If I do, do you see something red? Did you guys see that too? I saw something red up there. Yeah, I think I was tripping. But I might even have a golden apple in my chest. Oh my god, I do. What am I doing? Well, that saves me a bunch of time that I already wasted. <laughs> All right, I am back, George. Wait, are you still in there? Please tell me you're still in there. Okay, he's nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's still in there. Okay, I think it's weakness. Take that and eat my friend. And I think it's kind of cold. He's shivering a lot. <laughs> now let's actually wait for the magic to happen. Here we go. We got ourselves a cured zombie. Uh, not a zombie, a cured villager. Let's see. Come here, buddy. Thanks for listening. Yay! One emerald for one mending. That makes my life a lot easier. Now let me shut you off into the dark forever and you will... All right, now let's get him back up to society. Come on, buddy. I know you want to. Oh, there you go. Good boy. I'm not sure I'm talking to him like he's a pet. But now, I just need more emeralds. And we got ourselves mending. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's put it on everything I own. Oh, perfect timing. This is just about to break. All of my tools here. And the very last thing. All right, achievement complete. We got mending. Now I need to do something with these villagers because they're kind of occupying some space and I don't want them anymore. Should I just let them free, guys? Just let them roam around? Let them uh, into the wild? See if they survive? Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Honestly, let's, 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 let's let them free. Ah, just kidding. We can't do that. I'll make them a very special home right here. I have a pretty good idea. Let's gather some resources. Before we do that, let's put the mending to use and repair my tools and armor. Ah, that's much better. What was I doing again? So in order for me to build this home for the villagers, I'm going to need a lot of resources. And it's like a whole bunch of different blocks. I think it's probably like around 30 different blocks I need to collect. There's a bunch of different colored concrete and wool and also like bone blocks that I need. So this is going to be a really big uh, journey to collect all of these resources. But I think in the end, it will be worth it. I, I hope I, I really hope it looks good. I might as well start the resource collecting montage now. Okay, I think I spent enough time at the Mesa Bime collecting terracotta. Now let's move on. With this build, I'm going to need a lot of concrete. So that means sand and gravel. And luckily, there's some sand right here in the most uh, weirdest spot ever. <laughs> okay, but come on. This must be the most unnatural spot for sand ever. Oh my god. Okay, we survived. Finally made it back up and let's start collecting some sand and keep our eye out for some spiders. Those nasty little critters. I really hate how Minecraft completely removed deserts. Like, come on. There's like no good way to collect sand now. You got to go into the water like this. Like, what am I, a peasant? I don't know about you, but whoever's idea was that in Minecraft needs to really get fired. This is, uh, this is really annoying. Let's go ahead and drop all this off here. And now I need gravel. There's some right there. I'm guessing this is the best spot to find gravel um i don't see oh there's a huge sp oh my god oh my god i was about to say how am i not seeing gravel anywhere it's all right there isn't it funny how now in 1.18 is way easier to find patches of gravel than sand like come on what do you need gravel for oh minecraft come on 
Okay, now I need to get some cactuses. And I was just thinking, since Minecraft removed deserts, how are you supposed to find cactuses? Because I need some green dye for this build, and I really don't know where to find them. Ooh, flowers. I'm gonna need some of these, I think. Oh, there's sheep here. I need their wool. Should I just kill them? I think I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry, animal activists. Ugh. They only give me one wool if I kill them, so it's not that efficient, but a wool is better than no wool. Wow, an elytra would be really nice right now. Running really sucks. In Minecraft and in real life. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Light gray wool. I should keep this guy. Let me just uh, dig you into a hole. Don't escape, please. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. And stay right there. Hopefully you don't despawn. You probably will, actually. I'm being stupid. See you, bro. You're stuck in the hole. Okay, going around finding sheep is taking a little too long, so I'm just going to make a quick sheep farm. Let's harvest all this wheat. I'm sorry, guys. I keep forgetting to do the cookie time. I'm just too focused on building what I'm supposed to be building, you know? But since I remember now, I still won't do it because uh, I really want to finish this build. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Oh, there's some more. I'm here. Oh, there's even more. Oh, my God. There's even more. All right, we're going to collect them all. <laughs> got to catch them all. I got a sheep party over here. <laughs> yes. Okay, I got them all. And now I just gotta breed them. And we got little babies. <laughs> Okay, I think I got every block I need. I just need to find a bunch of dye. Like green dye and some black ink dye. Where are the squids? Oh, okay. Let's go find some cactuses. Where? I have no clue. There's cactuses right there. They could grow on red sand. Well, I mean, is that a desert right there? Oh my God. You can't tell me deserts actually exist. Was I just being stupid the entire time? I actually ran across here before. Take back everything I said in this episode. I am just a moron. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <sighs> And that right there should be everything I need to build this thing. I'll just need to AFK the sheep a little bit to collect some more wool. But while I do that, let's go for a quick snack break. Grab some water, hydrate yourself, and I'll be right back. I got everything I need, and let's start building this thing right over here. I need to tear down this jungle first, so uh, I'm really sorry for doing this, but I'm gonna have to. All these trees must go. You see all this? Well, if I look down, look back up, and it's all cleared out. I, I totally messed up that transition, but it's all good. Okay, let's somehow start building this iron golem i literally just have it pulled up on my other screen this is gonna be a really hard build because there's a lot of detail in this iron golem and i want all the villagers to live inside the head of the golem and like little baby villagers will spit down its mouth if you know what i mean and uh, yeah it's gonna be a pretty difficult build but i'll try my best here oh, i already totally messed up the entire thing this thing is so big i thought these were one blocks but they're actually two like this uh, yeah this is, this is gonna be really hard okay Okay, let's let's restart here oh, i messed it up again this is this is gonna be really hard holy cow Did i mess this up again oh my this is hard okay there there we go wow i am struggling right now this is difficult to build hey okay, that's not bad it looks nothing like an iron golem Okay, so far it's going pretty good. I'm sure you guys have no idea what I'm building. So let's switch to this camera. Let's jump down, out, and turn around. Do you guys see any resemblance of a iron golem? I sort of do. You see the giant nose? And I'm starting the head right now, but the body is complete. It's got the little moss on him, and I still need to build the arms beside it. So this is going to be a lot bigger than it is already. I still need to build this side and the back. So yeah, this is, is going to be a pain. It's going pretty good, though. But let's continue building here. Alright, the face is complete. Let's go check it out. The big reveal of the iron golem face. And oh, that's actually really good. Go away. I'm I'm trying to build an iron golem arm right where you guys are standing. And you guys are getting really annoying. You guys are in the way. I don't even have a sword to hit these leave. Thank you. And your owner is gone, so you guys need to go out. You guys need to go too. All 
right, so far it's looking pretty good. I finished basically the entire body. I just need the head and the top part of the body. It's going pretty good. I'm sure nobody was asking, but I just want to tell you guys so I feel special. Anyways... I'm finally done. Here's the big reveal of the giant iron golem where my villagers will live. And it looks pretty sick. And that took a lot longer than I thought. And it's not that big. But if you circle all the way around, it actually completed every single side, which is uh, pretty surprising. I usually don't finish the behind parts of my builds because I'm way too lazy. Even the top part is complete. I hear a lot of mobs in there. I'm really scared. How many? Hello? Oh, there's not that many. But it's more than my stupid little spawner over there. <laughs> this literally works better than that, which is pretty depressing all right please go away and now all i gotta do is transfer those villagers over there into the head of the iron golem and right inside the head will be all of the farms where the villagers can breed my plan is to have the babies come down here and drop right out of the iron golem's mouth it would drop right out of here behind the villagers nose and somehow i'm gonna have to transport the baby villagers through right here somehow i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do this Oh, I just turned all of this white concrete into concrete. That was not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. Hey, that, that works pretty good, I think. Now let's quickly build the farm. All right, there's the farm. Now I need the babies to somehow run through here into the water. Maybe this works? Because this is just under two blocks, so the villagers should be hitting their head here, but the babies should be able to run through into the beds. There we go. Okay, never mind. Maybe this won't work. I'm not sure if a baby villager would be able to fit underneath one block. If they can, they are really short. Hopefully they can. Now let's make some glass. And I read all of your comments to use my blaze rods as fuel, okay? I know, I, I was being stupid. What's new? And there we go. I really hope this works. <laughs> and now let's start transporting these guys. Come on, one of you just get into the mine cart. There you go. Whee! There he goes. He was too fat to make it up. All right, let me help you out. <sighs> there you go. And welcome to your new home, buddy. And now you're a farmer. And we got our second guy. Welcome. Make good babies. <laughs> and now let's work on the other layers on top of this one. So we have a giant baby villager farm. All right, there we go. We are all done. It looks kind of weird now that there's like a little lip right there, but it kind of looks like his tongue or his mouth. So <laughs> let's just leave it like that. And let's wait until we get a little baby villager falling from his mouth and maybe dying on the ground. Let's put some water just in case. And now we wait. Oh my God. A little baby villager just fell down. I wasn't even expecting it. <laughs> I had water in my mouth. Hey, buddy. Let's call him Gerald. Yay, it works. Okay, awesome. Now he's roaming around the world. I think we have built the most unique villager breeding area in Minecraft. Come on, they breed in a giant iron golem's head. It doesn't get better than that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.